Frail Fragment is a music podcast, but we talk about movies, entertainment, sports, whatever's on our mind, open stream of consciousness, in awareness, and make things, making it a little comical on the side. Frail Fragments, Monster Classics. Hey, bruh. I'll be back. What's up, bruh? This is uh, Monday, December 11th. What's good, bruh? How's it going? Oh, I'm good, I'm good. Just had to do a little errand here and there. Hey, bruh. I did it all work out. Wow. No, it was... no, no. no. What do you need your, what do you, what you have to do? I just went to Service Ontario, got my, uh, renewed my license and my health card, actually. Can't you do that online? What a bitch. Yes, you can, but every five years you need a new photo. Ah, that's fucking bullshit. So I had to physically go there. It was a bitch to wait, but I'm here now. I really hope that doesn't happen to me, man. I really do. Yeah. But it will. Uh, I got it done. I got, pardon me, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Okay, there we go. So, uh, yeah, it's, it was pretty kind of cold today. It was windy. Yeah, it was just like damp and shit. And I went to, uh, how was your weekend? How was the wedding? <clears throat> uh, it was phenomenal. Yeah? Did you get well, crunked or what? Went. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. We got kicked out the bar, actually, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. Wow, well, they're saying... Well, they're saying with their smart serve, oh, we can only serve three to four drinks per hour. It's what? Like, what? It's like, come on, man. Were you like, we're here to have a good time. Were you fucking throwing well, tables no one was, and shit no at that one, point or what? No one was throwing rocks, throwing chairs, nothing. It was, not, it was a chill vibe. They so just had to ruin it. So you're telling me you walked yeah. up to the bar and you're like, hi, sir, could I have a, fu- could I, may I have a Budweiser, please? And they're like, sorry, we can't serve you um, anymore. Um, just like that. Yes. You want to know what that is, eh? That's what that sounds like to me. Is these guys are these guys cheaped out on the fucking bar service, bro? Oh fuck! Because they 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 probably put four drinks per person or some bullshit. I've never fucking heard of that, dude. It's fucking insane, man. dude. I w- I've been I drank my ass off, bro. Where yeah. I was fuck I drank so much yeah. at a fucking wedding. I was passed out on fucking Queen Street on a chair without in okay. the winter. In the winter with no fucking jacket on. Okay, that's how oh. fuck that's how much we drank. They've we puked everywhere that the, <laughs> when I went back into the fucking place that our table was gone, bro. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I, I left I left the wedding with a fucking leather jacket with like chains on it and shit. And I was like ar- arguing with this girl about like me t- stealing her fucking boyfriend's jacket. I'm like, nah man, this is my fucking jacket. <laughs> I look and it's like a leather jacket with chains on it and shit. I'm like, yo, sorry, dude. <laughs> so yeah, I, I lost great. my jacket that night, bro. That was a that was crazy times. But yeah, I never heard of no four drink fucking yeah. limit. And that, uh, unless you're acting like a fucking asshole, that has nothing to do with smart serve. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's, That's what, what that saying. is. What that is is bullshit. <clears throat> uh, okay. I'm sorry to say this. With all due respect, they got married on a what? It was it a Friday. Uh yes. So they saved money there, like big time. Okay. Well, then, they got, then they got married in December, which is another sa- savings. And then they got some bullshit bar of four drinks per person, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> but you got to do it in Hamilton of all places. You got, you know what oh. I mean? They, they were, they were cutting corners like fucking, you know, okay, like grind town. but whatever you do what you got to do, man. Put, put some more, put some money. Once you ask your girl if she wants to be in a wedding dress, bro, that's what you got to fucking ask your girl. Be like, hey, do you want a wedding yeah. dress? If she says yes, you are <laughs> fucked. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're completely fucked because that turns into fucking, are you like, who are you inviting? Are you bridal it, shower, flowers, DJ, everything. fucking open bar? Uh, do you want any pasto bar? What what are you going to eat? Who you in, are inviting? Where are they sitting? What venue? You're going to get a priest. Dude, wedding rings, honeymoon. It turns into a fucking cluster. I'm screwed, Lenny. I'm screwed. (laughs) Yeah. But 
my advice to all you like younger couples out there is like take take some money uh, go to dinner with like your fat your immediate family like your brothers your sisters <laughs> your your parents um, maybe your best friend you invite and his girl or whatever or his guy for sure or, or her guy and 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 that's it okay you spend yeah. like go to a nice restaurant yeah like not keg go to like the a next level next echelon you know like if you want yeah, a steakhouse go to fucking barbarian just spend like four grand five grand on a fucking meal right and then take all the other money that you would have fucking blown on a huge wedding and put it on a house man because you need somewhere to live at the end of the day you're not going to be living with your fucking in-laws for the next 40 years like a lot of people are doing now if you want your independence you shouldn't be fucking spending 30 to fucking a two hundred thousand dollars on a fucking wedding shouldn't be fucking around because i mean and when you're gonna if you decide to fucking go go through a proper wedding with vendors and shit pay pay cash because you'll save big money right like if your girl says she wants a wedding dress you're fucked maybe you should you can talk some sense into her but you can't really change people at the end of the day and i don't blame girls right they you know they dream about that shit you know what i mean it's a fantasy right but yo Ace, I'm glad you touched down today and you were able to fucking make this shit happen, bro. Respect. And I invited Red, and he said he was going to be on this thing fucking no doubt, and he's MIA, bro. Uh, for real, that guy? He, he, yeah. I don't uh, know, bro. I don't know. He's griming. All the best. And Duck, too. I reached out to him, and but he never made me no fucking alliance, right? Like, for today, but I mean, oh, I, thought, right. I thought Red was going to be here. And then another exciting part of the Monster Closet all right. And uh, All right. this is Pharrell Fragment, the Monster Closet uh, podcast. Um, I'm here with my man Ace. Um, this is, I think, episode 10. Yeah. So we, we, we started about two weeks ago and it's a work in progress, right? So bear with us. Yeah. We're, 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 this is bu- bare bones. We're, re- we're working out the kinks. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I'm happy to announce that we have like a, a guest from my boy Davey from the red pill cartel podcast, which I, ended, which I did about a month ago. And we had a lot of fun doing that. He's going to come in for about 15 minutes and we're just going to talk some shit to him tomorrow. So oh, okay. I, I hope uh, Ace can jump on that too and kind of help me out, you know, bouncing some fucking ideas off of people. And I mean, I'll be early. Hey, bro. Yep. I got to uh, research that guy. Yeah, it's pretty, he does. He has a, he's pretty creative, man. Like he does, uh, <laughs> He does a segue kind of at the end of his podcast where he talks to a goat and he's, he's one guy with in two characters kind of like in one take sort of thing. Right. So he's like, he changes his voice and he like has a conversation with himself. And I, I, I mean, there's talent there for sure. He's that uh, guy. He's a talented guy. I mean, we right. ki- we're kind of brothers in in line as far as music musicality goes. We like we dig the same sort of shit. Uh, I I met him at the Bovine Sex Club on like for our Halloween show. He showed up and we and he partied like in the audience, right? And he approached my guitarist asking if I wanted to. We wanted to do his podcast, and you know, I reached out to him and we did his podcast, right? So, <clears throat> oh, the Red Pill, no? Yeah, the Red Pill Cartel podcast, right? So. I, I was on there for about an hour, but the way I want to do Monster Closet is about 20 minutes, right? Like, uh, I mean, yeah, short span. That's what it is. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can get some more characters on this. Like, I'm going to bring my guitarist, Matthäus, on it maybe next week. I'm on vacay next week, so I'll have some time and I'll reach out to you. You know, every time I do a podcast, Ace, I'll reach out to you, bro. Enjoy. Unless it's like, it's just not going to work, right? But I mean, no. yeah, like for the most part, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll send you a text or I'll. You know, I'll try my best to reach out to you. A show for show. Um, yeah, but this weekend was good, bro. So yeah, you had a good uh, good time at the wedding. Even so, what happened? They kicked you out. So let's let's segue back into your story. So they went to they went uh, you went to the open bar. They denied you after your fourth fucking drink, even though you drove all the way there. You booked a hotel. Um, you were in it to win it. You're in yeah. it to win it. Well, how much is parking over there? Five bucks. Oh, more than that. Ten, you fifteen. Par- did you park at a hotel? Is that why? For the night. Parking? Yeah, with the like, Sheridan over there. You fucking, you've played Monopoly before, bro. You don't park at the hotel. Park across the street, bro. Park at Baltic Come Avenue, on. bro. You're in Hamilton, son. I don't know where Baltic is. The Baltic's in the grime, son. But yeah, oh, how was the as hotel? As soon as you get there, bum after bum after bum. 
You hear me? Oh, I've heard all kinds of stories, man. Yeah. That's why I wish Red was here because he dro- drives through that shit all the time. But uh, be... was it a good time? Yeah, I had a great time. I had a blessed time, actually. Did Met you have booze? Did you have yeah. booze from the back at the hotel room? Back at the hotel, yeah, we bought, uh, we pre drank a little bit, you know, just to get the nerves out. And, Did you have uh, a refrigerator? Did you have a refrigerator? A mini one, a mini one. And you could use it to put your yes. shit in. Yes. Oh, you're gold, bro. So yeah, Perfect. you had that, and then you got cut off after the fourth drink. It which was insane, yes. And then what? How did that play out? Uh, we actually called up the uh, the bride and groom. <laughs> They're like, "Hey, uh, can you fix this for us?" And then uh, nothing happened. <laughs> and they actually answered the phone. No, like in person, like they were there. Oh shit! And then they were, yeah, it was done. We're like, wow, well, we're turning down anyway. So DJ is there and is what, gone. What, what time was this? This was at about. 10 30 to 11 oh man. my god what i know a whack wedding man <laughs> nah, nah, it was fun i'm just it joking was fun. i'm just joking bro yeah, yeah no some some weddings you know are are different than others right yeah you're right. cut off at, after the fourth drink that kind of sucks but you had you were in that hotel room you're in that hotel you had a hotel room you had tons of friends there you got did you guys turn up after the wedding and in, in the rooms or no well, uh, well, after we had the photo booth, uh, we were chilling outside, smoking a little bit, right? Did you go but eat after, somewhere? No, no, no. After we we separated, we separated ways, right? Everybody wanted to fucking do their own thing, band. bro. Yeah, 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 bro. I, mean, I understand. What did you do the next way. day? What did you do on the, the Saturday? Only... You had the whole weekend in front of you. Uh we just left, and then we went to this nice uh, Japanese fusion restaurant. Well, and, that's uh, a fun... yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a smart idea. Right? It's better than going to fucking Falker Falls and fucking killing yourself and splitting yeah. your yeah. fucking skull open off a rock. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hung over, right? Yeah, it's, pro- it's probably better to go for the sushi. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. For sakes. <laughs> yeah, you called how, it. How was the food, man? Uh, delicious, actually. Had hey. a couple of steak, cauliflower, all the essentials. Did All JV go? Did you? Did you? Were you riding with JV for it for that? Yeah, yeah, we had the same thing. We had the same thing. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. It was dope. I liked it. It was a dope experience, and got to meet new people. Oh yeah. yeah. I, found, yeah. I found. We found out today our boss is uh, leaving. Or he's retiring. Yeah, shout out T. And that and that uh and that sucks, bro, because this guy was like he didn't follow us around. He didn't do fuck. Wow. Like he was he was good to us, man. He fought for us when we were like in lockdown, we were at home. Like he was kind of stepping up to management, flexing, saying like what the fuck are you doing having these guys at home like. And he was right, man, because the city's sure. crying for money and we're giving our shit to fucking Ukraine and fucking Palestine and all this oh, fucking God. Israel shit. But uh I mean the fact of the matter is we needed help in our department, bro. Our department was a fucking disaster. Like the last guy that came in, he didn't want to change anything, man. Like I had to go, I had to get a petition signed. Okay. Cause we're working till fucking two in the morning. Okay. I had to get a petition signed. And like, I had some fucking asshole on my back saying he was going to go to the cops because he was threatened by what I was trying to do, I guess he was going to go to the cops. And like, cause I was, he claimed that I was following him around at work. And, oh, yeah. uh, and uh, dude, like, it was just a fucking, the adversity you'd have to go through just to change a 2 a.m. shift to 1130 was fucked up because our boss, like, he th- he did it, but he did it in protest. Uh-huh. And, like, he took a fucking 7 a.m. shift and he moved it to 8 o'clock and he was laughing uh-huh. about it. But, I mean, our our guy now, he was, he changed, He's the guy. At, he leveled our schedule. He completely customized it to the way we wanted it. No complaints. And- and he fought for us, right? So, like, and he never followed us. He never said shit to us. The only thing he would do once in a while is, like, call you up and bitch you out for no reason at all. Some bullshit. You needed a day off or something. And he'd lose his fucking mind over it. And uh, you'd be like, and, and you'd be sitting there. You'd be like, what the fuck is going on? But, I mean, as long as you can learn to swallow that kind of shit a couple, like, couple of times a year. I mean, that guy was, there's no better fucking manager than that, man. We, we like, we had it fucking good. But. I'm going to miss him. 
we have to look forward in a positive way and have faith that things are going to be better. Well, we had our ups and downs, but so we're still family. Gonna, we got to look at the the bright light, bright side, and things are going to get better now that now that things ha- are changing. Things are going to get better, and that's the way you ha- we have to think, bro. Because I agree with you. That that there's no other way, right? There's no other way to to think, because any other way is not a good place to fucking start. You know? I agree with you. <laughs> Definitely do. This weekend was, was this weekend was blessed for me, man. My uh, my okay. ex my ex drummer Dilly, uh, whose right. family like my you know fam he's my wife's cousin. <clears throat> he threw he hosted a fucking holiday party with all the cousins, and dude, I brought carne asada with fucking oh good for him. Um, yeah, I bought entraña. I bought sausages. I bought the sausages with like the spicy ones. And like I was getting compliments, bro. Like we ate, we ate good, bro. Yeah. We, like we had all kinds of salads and just tons of shit, right? But they, we went through like six, seven bottles of wine and some beer, and it was, it was, it was a fun, fun night. And then the next day, we went. I took on the Sunday. It was nice out. I said, I told my kids, I'm like, if we're gonna go to Wonderland, it's today, right? Like I'm not, we don't have a lot of time. Like I'm looking at my schedule, and I ha- now I have to keep a schedule because I'm so fucking busy. But, uh, and, uh, yeah, so we all went to Wonderland and it was, it was nice. You make those, you know, family core memories. Right. And I, we had a blast, bro. It was, it was fucking cool. And I, I mean, I never had anything like that winter fest at Wonderland when I was a kid, man, there's 20 fucking million lights there. That's a big deal, bro. Like kids walk through there and it's like, it's magical. You know what I mean? So we got the hot chocolate and the coffee and we walked through and I had my, we didn't bring our stroller this time around. I had my fucking son on my shoulders on the way, on the way back to the car. That's here and we're there. We had a good time and that's what it is. And now we're back to the grind on Monday, finding out that our fucking boss is gone. Now we're going to get some other fucking asshole. That's, you know, going to change probably he's going to bring in his ego and he's going to change things up, bro. Hopefully there's not someone, uh, we used to know, you know what I mean? Hey, bro, and that the, that guy's swirling too. And there's, you know, I hope uh, there's one guy we still have left in the office. That's a that's a that's you know, good. A, a good guy, right? Like that could that could help, guy, yeah. that could help us, right? So we'll see, uh, we'll see how that goes, and we'll keep you posted. But uh, you know, I, I, what else is what else is good with you, bro? Like I, I'm just we're just checking in today, you know. I'm and I just appreciate. Just to check in and I appreciate fucking Ace making some time for y'all, you know? Yes, sir. I got some time to kill, so why not? (laughs) But we'll be back Uh, tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow with Davey Wavy from the Red Pill Cartel podcast. And we'll be talking about all kinds of shit. I'm going to invite Red to that again. And, uh, and, you know, keep it, keep it real in the streets, man. It's, it's cold night tonight. Get inside. I'm going to make some pasta for the kids right now. Yeah, yeah, all and, that. And we're going to fucking grime it out. Because, I, like, dude, I eat... Well, I ate like a pig today because I'm coming off the weekend. Like, I know... And I left my house without eating. But I usually have a small bowl of cereal. And then I'll have, like, a banana, an apple, and an orange. And right. some al- almonds in between. And then, like, I just... I'm marved when I get home, right? So I'll have, like, whatever is there. Like, if it's pizza for dinner, if it's pasta for dinner, if it's, like, meat and fucking a carb whatever potatoes yeah but uh tonight's pasta night it's my night to cook so i want i you know i'm i'm doing it right i got i got some good sauce something easy and some uh parmesan and is it quality gonna, it's quality bro we're gonna eat like okay. doctors tonight bro okay i right, we're checking wow. out but peace out wow uh and if you want to check out uh the band Frellfragment.com. We're on Spotify too. Four, we got four albums on Spotify. Check out Frell Fragment. Check out Frell Fragment's Monster Closet. We got Ace. I saw Ears. you on TV, yeah. Hey, well, it's, it's <laughs> gonna know. keep it's gonna keep running, bro. Because we're of we're course. applying for festivals this year. Oshiega right. in Montreal and fucking uh, you know rock the place. Oshiega is big, bro. I, I'm looking at. I want sound of music in burlington bro because that's on the beach it's like overlooking the water and it's just like you get some better yeah to come through there and shit i I wanted that super crawl we got uh the horseshoe tavern january 6th saturday night 
got a killer lineup we're we're, get, we're we're launching that now like we're starting to prom- promote that now yeah and yeah I'm, I'm talking with the bands we got mobius uh radio they're closing out the show at 11 30 10 30s for all fragment 9 30 harley olivia um and opening up the show at 8 30 star beast my boys and they fucking kick ass uh you didn't see them you didn't see them last time it's 15 dollars advanced tickets on the horseshoe website uh you could follow us at for all fragment it it'll link you to that um that's the best way for fragment.com or at for all fragment at any fucking social media platform there is um uh, and yeah check us out monster closet again on uh, spotify our podcast we're gearing up that with that as well so january 6th man come out it's uh, 15 dollars advanced tickets 20 dollars at the door support indie music that's the best fucking place to play in toronto on the best Dying night land. on the best night man so i just hopefully there's no fucking snowstorm snowstorm or, you know yeah. but whatever it is man if you if you if you make it out you're gonna have a good time we're not gonna be back in toronto until may so may 4th my birthday may the 4th be with you show at the dakota tavern with star beast and the android meme but we're focused we're, we're putting all our eggs in one basket with this january saturday at the horseshoe don't miss january, out january 6th don't miss out for fragment.com we'll, we're gonna log in tomorrow with davy wavy from the red pill cartel podcast peace can't wait e. Frail Fragments, Monster Classics.